Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother? How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Ceres Ice Brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way. Leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Really You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The Commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. So worth losing to see you taken down and not. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah. 
end. End is not. Recruiting. Mm -hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Show me yours, tough guy. I bet mine's bigger. Impressive. So, you're here to fight them? Sure. This is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the Mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides... What are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we've dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a forge out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. You'll need to know more than that if you want to survive. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. down there. 
You know anything about this? Dead Vorcha? No. Don't know anything about that. Uh-huh. Right. Well, my job just got a whole lot easier. What's your job here, exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in. Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's goddamn suicide. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. In's gonna be easy. Out's gonna be a bitch. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack. Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? 
Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered, he won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. them down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you Freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When do the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the Blood Pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks, but he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today, you watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time.
What's this? Just have a few questions about the operation. Get, get this scum out of my face! Tarek, what's eating your ass? Zaid. I take it you two are acquainted? We've crossed paths a few times. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You're talking to This guy's gonna kill me. Almost dead already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Gentlemen. Talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know what to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. This can't be right. How could he have their free exit covered? I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, lady. He's over there, working on the gunship. We go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Uh, he must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Salki? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. A few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. 
Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blasters finish with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of- Target is in sight, where a go? Check. Bravo team, go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him, but that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. <laughs> Archangel doesn't have much time left. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. They've seen us. Angel. doing here just keeping my skill sharp a little target practice you okay been better but it sure is good to see a friendly face killing mercs is hard work especially on my own what are you doing out here on Omega I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel figured I could do more good on my own at least it's not hard to find criminals here all I have to do is point my gun and shoot How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Because of rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. 
That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these back. It's everything we've got. Scratch! Mm. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Go! Online. Damn it, they're sending out the heavy mechs. That problem should take care of itself.
you, Shepard. I'll take it. Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Zaid, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck.
some fire, Shepard. Time to get those damn shutters open. the shreds watch my back I'll deal with Archangel enemies in front one last took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang, to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortune showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Derek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. And... Heads up! Damn it! I thought I took that thing out already! I fixed it, but not completely. I mean, sure. They're all floating!
Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Commander. We've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Mm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. Just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What 
did your Merc Squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate Merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. A Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, 
Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture, and I feel like I have a purpose here. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus, before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that, but I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results-at-all-costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. What was your proudest career moment? Oh, uh, covered this, didn't we? It was after getting sidelined. A Batarian group was plotting to release a weaponized virus and kill the Council. Miranda and I stopped it. Strange that it wasn't bigger news. The real work doesn't get publicized, you know that. They say it's better that people don't know how fragile the system is or how close the bad guys can get. So, it never happened. Like you and the Reaper. And that's why I'm here. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. Perfect example of humanity and they still dumped you. It's nice to know someone like you is thinking about me. Knowing the real story was hard. It felt like... Well, maybe this isn't really appropriate, Shepard. Commander, I should get back to my duties. Everything has to be perfect if we're going to survive this. You're not blowing me off that easy, Mr. Taylor.
judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. this. This data pad. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non-fiction. What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job's done. Good luck. centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. 
I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, he was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay, and see who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be. You could be my Krent fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's crap? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework.
them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. Reminds her too much of herself. Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch was something different. Powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. Toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power, and we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting. Let's move on. Do you need something else? Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look 